Hi everyone, Ezra here, and I hope you're all doing well and you're having a good day today. Today I'm going to read you a fun and interesting book called So You Want to Be President? by Judith St. George and illustrated by David Small. And I hope you enjoy this interesting one about our presidents. There are good things about being president, and there are bad things about being president. One of the good things is that the president lives in a big white house called the White House. Another good thing about being president is that the president has a swimming pool, a bowl bowling alley, and a movie theater. The president never has to take out the garbage. The president doesn't have to eat yucky vegetables. As a boy, George H.W. Bush had to eat broccoli. When George H.W. Bush grew up, he became president. That was the end of the broccoli. <laughs> One of the bad things about being president is that the president has, always has to be dressed up. William McKinley wore a frock coat, vest, pinstripe trousers, stiff white shirt, black satin tie, gloves, a top hat, and a red carination in his buttonhole every day. The president has to be polite to everyone. The president can't go anywhere alone. The president has lots of homework. People get mad at the president. Someone threw a cabbage at William Howard Taft. That didn't bother. He quipped, I see that on one of my adventures has lost his head. <laughs> Lots of people want to be president. If you want to be president, it might help if your name is James. Six presidents were named James. President Carter liked to be called Jimmy. Four Johns, four Williams. President Clinton liked to be called Bill. The three Georges, two Andrews, and two Franklins all became president. You probably weren't born in, in a log cabin. That's too bad. People are crazy about log cabin presidents. They elected eight. William Harrison was born in a big Virginia mansion, though he won an election with a log cabin and a hard cider slogan. If you want to be president, your size doesn't matter. Presidents have to have come in all shapes and sizes. Abraham Lincoln was the tallest. Six, six four feet inches. His stovepipe made him look even taller. James Madison was smaller than five feet and four inches and only 100 pounds. William Howard Taft was the biggest, more than 300 pounds. He was so big that he had a special tub built for the White House bathroom. Four men could fit in the tub. Maybe Taft's problem was that presidents can order any food they want. Andrew Johnson once served his guests turtle soup, oysters, fish, beef, turkey, mutton chops, chicken, mushrooms, string beans, partridges, duck pudding, duck pudding, jellies, and lots of wine. All at one dinner. Though the Constitution says you have to wait till you're 35, young, old, and in between to become president. President. Theodore Teddy Roosevelt, at 42, was the youngest. He had pillow fights with his children and played football on the White House lawn. You must always remember that the president's is about 
six, a friend said. Ronald Reagan was the oldest. When he first ran for president, he was 69. He joked that it was the 30th anniversary of his 39th birthday. <laughs> Some presidents joked and didn't. Presidents' personalities have been different. William McKinley was so nice that he tried to stop a mob from attacking the man who had just shot him. Benjamin Harrison was so cold that one senator said talking to Harrison was like talking to a hitching post. Calvin Coolidge was so shy and quiet that a dinner guest once made a bet that she could get him to say more than two words. You lose, he told her. Andrew Jackson certainly wasn't shy. When he ran for president, his opponents printed a list of his duels, fights, shootings, and brawls. Fourteen in all. Don't worry about your looks. Abraham Lincoln was a was a homely man, but he was one of the best presidents. He reunited the country by winning the Civil War. Someone once called Lincoln two-faced. If I am two-faced, would I wear the face that I have now? Lincoln asked. Warren Harding was a handsome man, but one of his Worst pre but he was one of the worst presidents. He gave the government jobs to his crooked friends. I am not fit for this office and I never should have been here, he admitted.